Tell me, what's the one thing that everyone does when they play Minecraft for the first time? Well, they build a house. But I want to know if it's possible to rebuild my entire house at a one-to-one -one scale. I'm talking a full scale rebuild of every single room inside of Minecraft VR. Now, if done correctly, I should theoretically be able to walk around and interact with my real house while being completely immersed in the greatest game of all time. And I know you're probably thinking, Zach, what's the point? Well, lads, I'm doing it for love. Wait, what? Why did I write that? <laughs> Look, let's keep this simple. This is my wife, Chelsea. She likes sipping on a Stanley Cup and playing Sims 4. I, on the other hand, prefer running around in VR like an absolute madman. But it doesn't matter what I do, I can't convince Chelsea to give VR a second chance. So I'm gonna combine Chelsea's favorite game, The Sims, with my favorite game, Minecraft, and rebuild our entire house at a one-to-one -one scale. Also, I can prove to Chelsea that VR isn't lame. Okay, hearing that out loud sounds a little petty, but I have an airtight game plan to turn Chelsea into a diehard fan of VR. But before I let you in on the plan, I have to be honest with you legends. I freaking suck at video games. But I've been playing a game that not only looks sick, but is also the perfect amount of intense for a simple guy like me. Because I'm talking about today's iconic sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. We made it, lads. We officially made it. Now, if you're new to the party, Raid Shadow Legends is a completely free-to-play turn-based RPG for your mobile. And honestly, it's super easy to jump into. Take on a ton of awesome bosses and compete against real players and PvP battles in the arena with your selected champions. Now, did you know there's over 700 champions to collect? But right now, I'm grinding for a few special champions, including the man of this holiday season, Sir Nicholas. I mean, look at this guy. Sanders has been hitting the gym. <laughs> and my personal favorite, Georgia the Breaker. With a like that, you know this dude's gonna break some hearts. And probably legs and arms. There's new champions to collect every month, which means plenty of new strategies to discover. I'm stoked out of my mind to be working with Raid. Just like you'll be stoked working closely with your very own clan to take on epic clan tournaments, quests, and bosses. Because come on, we all know life's better together. Now look, the holiday season might be over, but the hype for Raid Shadow Legends continues. The Cursed City is one of Raid's biggest features since the Doom Tower, with 100 stages to complete, including stages where you'll need to take down two of Raid's bosses at the same time, complete its various quests, and you can even get your hands on a mythical champion, which is the category I'd be under if I was a champion in Raid. So don't miss out on the festive goodness. Go check out Raid Shadow Legends and enter the promo code Raid Xmas before January ends and unlock exclusive in-game rewards. And if you're a new player, all you gotta do is use my link or scan the QR code to get a free starter pack and some bougie in-game loot. And hey, once you're set up and freaking crushing it, come find me under the name Zaka Slays and even join my clan so we can become legends together. Seriously, huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. All that's left to do is to get my wife to fall in love with VR. That sounds crazy, right? <laughs> All right, legends, here's the game plan. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a challenge, but in a good way. First up, I'll outline every single room in my house. This shouldn't be too hard, but I am worried about the house staying in sync with the real house. Does that make sense? I want this to be so accurate that when you walk around the Minecraft house, you're actually walking around the real house at a one-to-one -one scale. With the floor plan of my house built inside of Minecraft VR, the next step is to build all the walls and start adding details, which sounds outrageous. <laughs> Chelsea's a big fan of interior design. So this is my chance to show her I know a thing or two about styling a house. That's how I'm gonna do it. That's how I'm gonna get Chelsea to fall in love with VR. Easy, right? Easy. You just gotta build my whole house in one-to-one scale. How do I even... Okay, before I commit to doing the whole house, because I feel like that's a pretty big undertaking, I want to see if I can map out my office. You right there, Scouty? <laughs> this idea was super inspired by one of my favorite creators right now, Danzig. And in his video, he recommends using the VR headset's built-in boundary system to make sure that everything was to scale. Ah, but unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of a boundary system. See, the only version of Minecraft that I have access to is an unofficial port for the Quest called Questcraft. I would use the PC version of Minecraft VR, but I don't have a PC which keeps kind of screwing me over. Don't get me wrong, Questcraft is flipping sick, but because it's not officially released for the Quest 3, the only way I can get it to start is if I turn off the boundary system completely, which means I'm out of luck for what seems like the best way to outline every room in VR. But I have another idea. So my idea is to use this corner of my office as like the center point. So whenever things get, I can just come back to this corner and start again. And in game, I'll have this corner of my office. Put simply, if I can walk from this red block in my office to this red block in the lounge room without the whole world falling out of sync, we should be golden. So uh, let's see how well this works. Welcome lads. Babe, you're gonna freaking lose your marbles when you play this. It's so crazy. I feel a little stupid right now. Uh, okay, this is gonna be the corner. So if I, doom, doom, doom. okay. Oh, it froze real bad. Oh, that makes me so sick. Okay, turning up the boundary system hasn't fully fixed Questcraft's bugs. I hope this doesn't happen a lot because it's gonna make this whole video very painful. And scratch again. Frick. 
Yeah, things weren't working out as planned, but... I've gone in and made a bunch of adjustments. Okay, okay. So that is gonna be our corner bit, which is actually there. So let's line this up. Well, that's pretty good. And there is, how many blocks have we got? It just crashed again. No. Yeah, I thought building the house would be the hardest part, but with Questcraft out of action, we're out of luck. This is not a good start for convincing Chelsea that VR is worth it. But holy dooly, my luck changed. It took me a few hours to work out, but Questcraft kept crashing because I was trying to screen record it. Well, luckily for me, there is a mod that can record gameplay in Minecraft from another computer. It has been a day, a whole day, just trying to work out how I can record this so you guys can see it, but check it out. That's what I'm seeing inside my headset. And it freaking works. We are going to be able to do this thing, come on. To make sure I wasn't getting too ahead of myself, I started off with my office. And honestly, I'm super impressed. I was able to outline the whole room without Questcraft crashing. Let's freaking go. So I guess it's time to rebuild my house. <laughs> Welcome, you're joining me in the corner. Right here is the red square. You can see as I walk over here, if I reach out, the wall will be there. If I start every session, from this red square, the rest of the house should line up perfectly. VR, virtual reality. You know what's crazy? I just walked through a doorway and I can't see crap, which means my layout was perfect. Let's see how well it lines up. Is this the doorway, Chels? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so satisfying, dude. Resync with my red dot over here. No, what the hell? And so with my newfound confidence, it was finally time to lay out the rest of the house. I kick things off in the lounge room, making sure to outline every single wall. I mean, essentially, I'm just building the floor plan of my house inside of Minecraft. And honestly, I'm so impressed at how well this worked. Even if it does look a little goofy. This is literally the greatest day of my whole life. Other than our wedding day, but still. Um, oh, oh. There's a chair there. There's a chair there. If you're wondering how I'm doing this, my technique is... Uh, Literally just feeling the wall. <laughs> I can't see crap. After a few minutes of losing my marbles because this actually worked. <laughs> I started to outline every single room, making sure to resync myself every few minutes to be sure everything was to scale. So that when Chelsea puts on the headset, she'll be completely immersed in Minecraft. And look, she was starting to get it. There's a window there. I can't wait to build all the windows in. Oh, it's like the Sims. It is like the Sims. The plan is working, lads. Things were actually looking so good that I said, stuff it. Let's build some walls. And I was feeling unstoppable. I'm like a freaking carpenter, except I would have no idea how to build a real wall. I guess I'll just stick with Minecraft. <laughs> and so after a big night of pretending to be a tradie, I went to bed knowing the house was almost done and ready for Chelsea to give it a go. But little did I know. Okay, so I just jumped in to check out what I was working on last night and uh, there could be a problem. It seems like everything that I've built is completely out of sync and uh, nothing is to scale, which is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't have to rebuild everything again, but I have no idea what's going on. So let's see if we can fix this. The first test I wanna do to make sure that everything is fully lined up is go from this corner of the room to that corner over there next to the shelf. And that's how we'll know that everything is synced up Oh gosh, Chelsea's been watching me walk around the house like a crazy person for the last two days. So, you ready, Scotty? She doesn't care, let's do it. <laughs> okay, dude, why am I so nervous? But I'm heading to the door, here we go. All right, we're good, so far so good. Ooh, a little bit out of sync. That's okay, I'm gonna go around this couch, this way. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, okay. Oh, oh, Scotty scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. We're coming up, the cabinet should be there. We are off again. Why, 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 why? Okay, I think I messed up something in the Minecraft VR settings. There's a setting that lets you change the world scale. Essentially just how big or small the Minecraft world is in comparison to your height in real life. But there's another setting that I think is causing more trouble. And that's the walk multiplier, which is how fast your character walks in Minecraft compared to how fast you're walking in real life. And man, I've been messing with a bunch of these settings, but walls and doors are completely out of sync to the real world. So let's see if my new settings work better. I'm gonna go again, ready? So the couch is there. The end of the couch is, oh, see we're off. What is going on? Just had it, I swear I just did it. My biggest fear is that Chelsea steps into this thinking that it's laid out perfectly and then just runs into something. So like, that's what we're trying to avoid. But turns out there was nothing wrong with the settings. It was something way dumber. Okay, somehow I managed to build the lounge room exactly one block too wide. I have no idea how I did that, but it threw everything out of sync. So I just rebuilt a bunch of the walls. Oh man, I hope this works. 
please get back. Whoa, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, one more time, one more time. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go don't this way. Fast. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting confident. This goes over to here. Okay, yeah. The thing is right there. Nice. And then I can back up into the wall. <gasps> that is the craziest thing ever. After two days of outlining the entire house, I was pretty stoked to finally have everything synced up. But then I got a knock at the door. It's so fun. That is wild. This isn't just like one year's worth of work. This was like literally 15 years worth of work. Thank you guys. And then you to my wife who let me sleep on her couch and I told her I would have one of these one day. <laughs> and thank you, Scouty. But seriously, holding this in my hand is freaking wild and it makes me want to work harder to make better videos and uh, it's all thanks to you guys. So thanks for subscribing and uh, if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, be a legend. All right, it's about time we give this house the love it deserves. Okay, so I actually have built the table already. Oh, and I nailed it. Yeah, let's go. That's gonna blow your mind. So let's put some windows up here because this is an old Queenslander house. Let's put that, there's Queenslander. windows. Queenslander? Queenslander. You're gonna be blown away, Chels. I'm putting down a mat. I was really getting into my element as an interior stylist, but that didn't mean Chelsea didn't have to school me. Yeah, it's a doorway, it's not a door. I'm so glad you did interior design at university. It's literally coming into play so much right now. So is my uh, music degree. <laughs> I was going to use a plug-in that like actually let me put a fridge in, but it crashed every time I tried it. Oh so. man. I know, it's so annoying. I just want to make you proud. Right. You want to say you do make me proud. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's literally the... Wow, that was satisfying. I touched that and that was the corner. Let's just do the kitchen while we're here, right? It's a bathroom. What is this? A bathroom. This must be so boring for you. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Bar of the turn. They're right there, okay. Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, all the interior is done and honestly I think it looks pretty good. It's hard to tell if it's gonna be enough to convince Chelsea that VR is in fact great, that it's actually a fun time, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, he's going in boys. Okay, how you feeling? Well, I haven't moved yet. Okay. Well, is... <laughs> My eyes hurt a little bit. So if you walk forward towards me. I like these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's right. <laughs> if okay. I sit here, will I sit on the couch? Yep. <laughs> I'm going this way. Just, you fine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Do you head over to the red dot? Remember that can resync everything up. No, I'm good. You got it? Well, I like your view. <laughs> I like your flower. Well, I'm gonna go back out because I know I can't go that way. Okay. It's happening, lads. It looks like Chelsea's kind of enjoying herself. And though my biggest fear had come true, we were having some sinking problems. You got it, you got it's it. It's only because this is too small. Yes. Wow, you can see everything. I like your windows. Am I clear on things? Well, I guess we'll find out. That's nice. I like the lamp. I like the boxes. <laughs> Storage. <laughs> the window. Well, that's fun. I think Chelsea is genuinely enjoying VR. The table? Yeah. Wow. Welcome to the kitchen. That's nice. Right. I like your sink. Thanks. And your stove. My stove. And the cabinets. You got it. You got it. You're not going to, like, as long as you're not sprinting, you're not going to ride a Jeep. You need to break. Am I facing the bathroom? You sure are. <laughs> <laughs> is the door open? The ah. door is open. Wow. And I like your clear glass. Thanks. And I know, I used my wife as an excuse to play Minecraft for a few days. But man, am I glad I did. Spending a whole afternoon showing Chelsea what I built fully reminds me of the Friday afternoons I spent playing Minecraft with the boys. I can't find that. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? What, am I coming out of the door? <laughs> yes, why? Did you fall out of sync, you reckon? It got really small. The door got small? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is very off right now. Is it? This is, I feel this is outside in... Now, obviously double check it's there before you just sit down. Am I in it now? Yes. Oh. Oh, no. You're not lined up? No. Oh, aye. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm sitting behind it. So the mission of this video was to convince you that VR was fun and good and worth it. Is it worth it? I guess it's fun. I guess. After all that work, hey? That's all you say? All I did was... <laughs> around the house. That's what virtual reality is all about! <laughs>